Okay, so we're just going to check out the shops. This is our uh, basically day two of the cruise. So we got on yesterday at Southampton and now we're on our way to Lisbon. And um, I've discovered that the elastic's gone in my swimming trunks and I've discovered uh, that we haven't packed my uh, it's like a hoodie, something easy to zip up after getting out of the swimming pool or a jacuzzi. So we're going to have a look and see if I can get those items from the from the shop just need to put my face mask on because on P&O on any of the sort of common areas that are inside um, you still need to wear your, your face mask okay so our cabins at the very front of the ship so we just walk back to the lifts area and I think I think the quickest way would be to take the stairs there's lots of lots of hand gel around the around the ship down two more lovely pictures a close shop on this floor let's go down one Lovely, thank you very much, thank you, bye. Okay, so let's go. Morning. Yeah, I think they are. Well, they'd be quite nice. Yeah, they'd be better, won't they? Yeah. Yeah, ready. So what's your fav favourite area of the ship? Um, oh, obviously. Adult only area. What do you call that sort of where the hot tubs are and the swimming pool? It's the big door with the glass roof. It's almost like a big conservatory, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what you wish for that. It's got some posh name in the brochure. Yeah, we'll have to look it up. But it did get quite busy. It was alright if you were yeah. there early, but then it was. And of course, that's not adult only, you've got children no, you've as got well. Children. Yeah. Um, which you know, is it, it's fine, but it, it just gets, it gets quite busy there. So it's not really somewhere for, to be quiet and relax. It's yeah. quite a busy spot. Whereas the adult only area at the front of the ship is a small. We couldn't go there today could we? because the weather was yeah. its not warm enough. In Lisbon tomorrow we're expecting, well it's another sea day tomorrow isn't it? And then it's Lisbon so maybe it'll warm up a little bit tomorrow but probably shouldn't expect too much. And then and then uh, Vigo though isn't it? Vigo. Yes. So are we, on an excursion? we are, we've got an excursion booked. Which one's that one? I, don't, I honestly I don't know, but one of the other passengers was telling me that to get about a mile, mile and a half out, there's a really nice beach and it's, got, it's actually get quite pretty. So it'd be interesting to see where the tour takes us, and that'd be something for okay, something for future future friends. Yeah, we've been there once before, haven't we? We have. I think we just walked to the nearest sort of town. Mm -hmm. And I think it was quite uneventful. I don't. I don't think there was a lot to see. Just lots of shops. It's quite a few years ago. Yeah, I knew we'd have been there once before. Yeah, do you like the shopping? So I love the shopping area. It's another favourite. Yeah, well, <laughs> we found it good over time. But all those little bits that you might forget tend to forget something. It's kind of inevitable. So they're good, and it was a fair price, wasn't it? I mean, the, the swimming trunks were. Yeah. Twenty-six pound for it, and it's a named brand, isn't it? It's super dry or something, so it's quite a good brand. They look quite well made as well. Yeah. You've got a souvenir, a zip up, yeah, sort of hoodie type thing, which is always, you know, handy. You can always use it on future cruises or yeah. whatever. Yeah, it's a good advertisement. So, do you think like the glass house? Sorry, not the glass house. It's already booked for that. But the beach house. Yes. That's quite a good tip, wasn't it? Please. Yes, shall we try that tonight? I think we should go by and maybe just have a look at the menu, please. Okay, yep. And maybe get booked. Not that there's anything wrong with the main restaurants. Oh, no, that was lovely. Uh, yeah, we've never eaten at the beach house so far. No, no. So quite curious to see what that... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that'd be very good. So I want to give the gym a go later on. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'll take my phone, maybe... Um, video through it 
Oh I'll yes. Just put that on the hard floor. I'll be able to do my exercises to that, and I'll either start or finish. Probably start with some free weights. Yeah, warm yourself up a bit. Yeah, yeah. and also because I get quite hot, sweaty with the yeah. aerobic yeah, video following about. that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. don't really want to be using the free weights after that. You still have to wear a mask. It'd really be practical, would it? No, that's true. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. After that massage, I probably I was going to do some little light arm exercises, mm. light light dumbbells. But um, after that lovely massage I had, I don't. don't want to work. She really got out a lot of knots actually. So so what three years build up less. So yeah. It was like bubble wrap, but I did warn the lady it's going to be like bubble wrap. Yeah, you did say. But yeah, I knew there would be a lot there. Read a magazine maybe. And yeah, that'd be nice. It's one of my music. I think the thing is on the um, on the sea days, the challenge is to find somewhere nice to sit. That isn't too crowded, isn't it? And again, that's why we sort of perhaps it's nice to have a balcony cabin because if yeah. you do get if you do find it's quite um, easy, yeah, then you can you you've got your own chill out space yeah. if you like. But yeah. yeah, right now I'm, I'm not sure. So it's 11:35. Right. So we've certainly got three or four hours to enjoyed for not to go to any weights or anything so I might just as well sit here and make some plans really yeah um you know the tip is always bring a pen and paper with you to work out what you want to do or be yeah. guide well this you go sit and have coffee and go through the horizon yeah. and work out what you want to do because you have to book ahead don't you you want to see the theatre yeah on your phone using the app well sort of that yeah with the ships it's kind of a website that you connect on to yeah. via the ship's Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, it's good. It seems to be easy enough to use. Do you find the logging in bit though with this it's really it says you need to put the last six digits in of your cruise card ID or serial number, but it's written so small on the cruise Money. card. Yeah. Bearing in mind the sort of you know, older clientele particularly. Yeah. You know, it's written just way too small. Very small. Yeah, very, very small. Unless you've got twenty twenty vision you won't be reading won't. that off. No. <laughs> I, I reckon a lot of the clientele pop on to reception and ask a young person yeah. to do it for them. Yeah, yeah but I haven't got the glasses to hand or whatever. Yeah, too much. Yeah, that, they should just put the cabin number or something. Because all the information is, is you know, on your cabin number, isn't it? So why why do they ask you to put it on the actual... I suppose because someone else could put your cabin number in, couldn't they? Because it's quite simple to work out well, what the cabin okay. number is. Yeah, good point. Trying to be more safety. Good point. Yeah, good point. But then does it really matter specifically to you? I think it's messed up. Oh, I guess. Yeah. I'm sure there must have been a better way. Though. Or make the numbers bigger on the car. That would be the simplest solution. Yeah, have you got it? So yeah, it's the um, the last six digits. So yeah, good luck reading yeah. that. I've tried to read that. No, that is ridiculous. You've got no chance for 1920. It's that real to real show, isn't it, in the theatre tonight? Oh yeah. Okay. We have seen that before, haven't we? Have we? Um, yeah, it rings a bell. Yeah, your memory is better than mine. I, I think they were saying the 8.30 show is going to be quite... Because we normally do the 8.30 show because we have dinner at 6. We probably should be booking on the app if we want that one. Good point, actually, yes. But what time are we going to do the 10.30? Because he said either... 6.45, 8.30 or 10.30. You were late. We don't want to eat late, though, do we? No. For about an hour. Yeah. We don't want to eat at seven, do we? No, we'd want to eat six, six. and then... So we'd have to, have to do the ten thirty. That means it's eleven thirty. Okay, so shall we go and check out the adult area at the front of the ship just to see how cold it is out there? Okay, yep. Okay, so let's work out where the front is, okay? So to the dock. We need to go... We need to go that... that. Yeah, go through there. We need to see, because that map didn't help us because it didn't show the front and the back. Here we are. Here's one that will help us. See it? And you see on the top one, the other red dot. We want to go up that to way. the gymnasium, up there, an oasis spa around that area. So, do you want to talk about this? 
So yeah, so we're in the sí. exchange uh, nice area where they have sometimes quizzes of an evening during the day, uh, and you can also watch sports on TV. They do here often. So if you're an alcoholic, you'll be quite at home here. If you've got a gambling problem, you'll be able. To you are on the theatre. So yeah, that's the arena theatre at the Ford. Ford the very front. Ship, yep. Um, there is another floor. If you was to go upstairs, and um, so it's on uh, three floors. Yeah, should we see if we can have a look? Yes. Uh, okay. So just want to say you do have to book on your phone every single night. Sometimes they move. Look. Oh yeah, it's like one of those toys where you look at it at different angles. That's what it reminds me of. But I can't think of the name. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, if you look carefully, some of the people move. <laughs> Very clever. Uh, do your hairs at each station. Then we're going to do your hair and nails. <laughs> and through there is a relaxation room. We're not allowed to go in unless you have an appointment. But you sit with nice chairs there and uh, you sit and wait for your appointment and fill in a form. And the uh, therapist will come and get you when they're ready. Follow me. We'll take you to the outside pool area. And also only 18 years old and plus. Mind your step. Come follow me this way. Shelter from the wind. That's right. Shelter. Okay, we we will be back another time when it's. It's lovely out there though, it's almost like you could sit out there if you wanted to. Yeah. Go and have some lunch. No, let's drop stuff off in our room. Rest up tonight. Good evening, so we're on the second evening, uh, just waiting for our table at Saffron. And um, the ship's captain has shouted everyone's champagne. I uh, got a gift, gift out voucher in our um, in our lovely uh, room. So uh, yeah, cheers. So it's the black tie night, the first night tonight. So got my normal white shirt on uh, rather than a dress shirt. And I must say it's actually easier those dress shirts. The collars on them are a bit of a pain. So all I need is an elasticated bow tie, and it would pin it quite nicely there, and no one would know the difference. I'm quite happy with my. Um, my sort of dinner jacket because I haven't worn it since the last cruise um, but it all looks clean and nice and yeah it's it's pretty good you know but it, I think it's a nice effect for fairly minimum effort so uh, I'm looking forward to a good meal it's um, one of the famous chefs his uh, recommended his recommended um, menu even we'll see what that's like it sounds very good Marco isn't it I can't think of his surname P something, Marco PM or something like that. Yeah. So it's, it's just started to show the signs of warming up a bit today. So um, still chilly in the wind, but we did sit out for a little bit. Um, but warmer tomorrow, up to 20 degrees at Vigo. So yeah, looking forward to seeing what Vigo's got to offer. We have got a tour booked. So yeah, hopefully that'll be, that'll be good fun. And we're just sitting here seeing what's going on. Oh yeah, we had to wait for the... Um, we're still working out the app and like last night it seemed like you probably were better off just turning up. And the people that had actually thought seemed to be being sent away and uh, to come back later. And the people that were just turning up got straight in, so I don't know what that was all about. But tonight it seems to be that the people that have booked are going in and the people that haven't have to wait a little bit. But we're doing the later show the later show tonight so we don't mind eating a little bit later um, the show we're seeing is a ventula twist at 10 30 so um yeah so there's a little bit of a way to go for that uh yeah just got the cocktail uh didn't catch what the cocktail's called um but uh yes we've just come up to got some time to uh, right on the top deck it's due to see a later show and a cocktail i've just asked the, the waiter it's called one debris cooler elderflower apple juice orange juice a tiny bit of vodka and some sort of rum um, it's not strong at all it's very sweet it's really nice i might ask for it again Show me that's it, I know it's a good 